Good evening and welcome to Between the Lines. I'm John Madison. There's no way you're going to university unless uh, you're a fool like myself and you love the life of the mind. My guest tonight is probably our country's best known teacher. If you're going to run a university in, in, in post-apartheid South Africa, you better believe it's going to be rough, you know. So most of the rough comes from the right wing, the white right, okay. Uh, and it's different media. Right now, the leadership in our government, their priorities include self-preservation. It doesn't include the public sector, you know. It doesn't include, I mean, I haven't sat down with senior people in government, you know, uh, uh, since I'm been a vice chancellor where they engage you individually and say, what do you think we can do? What is it that we don't, you know? You see, you need a leadership that understands your schools are important, your universities are important. These are the primary uh, assets for rebuilding democracy and rebuilding, for sustaining democracy and rebuilding the economy. If you don't understand that, at, at the heart of the government, and our government doesn't, Julius Nairere understood that. Robert Mugabe, despite the political, you know, flaws of the man and moral flaws, he understood that. That's why they have one of the best school systems in the world, despite. We don't understand that. The future doesn't look bright. The one thing that distinguished South Africa from many other African universities is we had, uh, you know, within our uh, borders, some of the best universities in the world. That's no longer going to be the case.